Hello everybody, welcome back to Sportsman 101. Now I have decided to share with you some of my more unusual hunting stories. The times when things didn't always go according to plan. So here it is, this is my story of the unicorn buck. Now I don't remember exactly when this happened, but it was a whitetail deer season many years ago. And uh, I was out hunting on my favorite field. Now, you, if you've seen my 2017 deer hunting video, you have seen this field, you have seen this area. At that time, I did not have a deer stand out on that field, so what I did was sit in a lawn chair in the weeds. And this day, I had decided to bring some Trails N307 with me. Now, as you may know, if you are hunting out on a field, you don't have many places to hang a scent wick. So I brought a big stick with me, drove it into the field, and hung my scent wick from there. And then I sat down to wait. Now it did not take long for me to get any results. After about 10 minutes I heard a bunch of crashing in the woods and a spike buck jumps out onto the field. He looks around for a little bit and then he makes a beeline straight for the scent wick. And he, he's, he, he's coming and running. And that's when I realized my mistake. I was sitting way too close to my scent wick. Now, I, I wasn't able to shoot sitting down because my chair was too unsteady. And I knew that the instant I stood up, he was gonna take off back into the woods. So I waited for him to get a little bit closer. And as soon as he was close enough, I jumped up, aimed quick, pulled the trigger, Right as he was trying to turn around to go back into the woods, he dropped like a ton of bricks right there in front of me. I thought, hey, that's great. That worked exactly like I thought it would. Now, at that time, my, bro my dear brother had convinced me that bringing a knife with you while you're deer hunting was bad luck. So my knife was out in the truck, way across the field. So I packed up my things, unloaded my gun, and started walking toward the truck. The plan was to go get in the truck, drive right out on the field to the deer, got it out, load it up, and away I go, right? Well, I get about 30 yards away, and I look back at this deer. Now, I don't know why I looked back. It was probably out of a sense of self-satisfaction. Um, but when I looked back, he had his head up. And I thought, what the heck? I just saw this thing drop right in front of me. Isn't it dead? And then suddenly he was up on all fours. And he was wobbling around. He looked like he was dazed, didn't, didn't really know what was going on. And so quick, I slammed my magazine back into my rifle, shot him two more times, and he was down dead. And then I walked up to him and I saw that one of his antlers was missing. <laughs> and then I remembered that when I had pulled the trigger, he was in the process of wheeling around toward me and his head was low enough to cover his vitals. So the bullet <clears throat> had actually taken one of his horns off and knocked him clean out. So that dirt nap he took really was a dirt nap. I wonder if I have a ricochet sound effect. Anyways, I got him gutted out and back to camp and of course I got a whole bunch of crap from my hunting buddies. They still talk about it and they probably will for quite a while, but that's okay. So yeah, that's my story of the unicorn buck or well, I guess it was a unicorn after I was done with it. But the moral of this story is, first of all, don't sit too close to your scent wick and second make sure your deer is dead so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you'd like to see some more go ahead and subscribe to this channel a huge shout out to all my subscribers out there you guys are the reason that i keep doing this so thank you very much so until the next video thanks for watching and happy hunting